everyone welcome back to the next abby kimani as you can see this is ask abby if you're new here this is where i answer five questions per episode that are in this world if you're wondering no i've never seen these questions before and i do get help from like my siblings writing them but you can also help by commenting down below questions that you have for me so let's go on to question number one Oh, it's a shot. People really do be getting creative. Uh, anyway, uh, dear Abby, how should I respond to a friend who confides in me a secret? First of all, is that correct English? I'm not sure. Okay, I'm a very like English critic, and I'm so sorry for stalling. But in fact, just yesterday I was arguing, not arguing, debating with my mom whether saying I'm flattered and I'm complimented means the same thing. Mom, it means the same thing. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing, but let me continue. Uh, when a friend tells you a secret, you should keep it. But even though once you tell a secret, it's not a secret anymore, don't be like, oh, she has told me, so it's not a secret. You know, I might as well just go and tell everyone. No, please don't. That person has trusted you with that secret and once you tell everyone or anyone for that matter you have broken that trust and chances are they won't tell you another secret again honestly i feel like secrets are nothing but trouble because they can be like oh cheat was that day i told i told abby i liked uh, i liked james on the james in our class yikes it was that day i told abby i like jonathan and then you'll be like, oh my god, Abby. Then you'll get into so much trouble. So you just rather not even know any secrets. Or if you know, and throw away the key, like, far away. Uh, let's move to question number two. <laughs> I did put a grip there, there on. I did put a grip there on purpose. Mm. Hey Abby, how should you pray? I have made a video on it. You can it's in the description so you can go check it out. But um there's something called acts, adoration, confession, thanksgiving and supplication, yeah. So that is the summary of it. Adoration is praising, uh thanksgiving is giving thanks <laughs> confession is like oh my god <laughs> i'm giving like i'm explaining a word is a word i'm going to say confession is confessing a uh, confession is admitting to your sins and asking for forgiveness for it is that i feel like that's a, a good explanation and supplication is praying for others so that's a summary but if you want like more then you can watch the video but let's move on to question number three or grape number two yes i do have grapes in this world hey abby is it okay for parents to take their children's phones away hmm. by the way nebai or joe you have a great handwriting i don't know if you guys can see it my english teacher would be pleased but anyways is it okay um Yes, I feel like it depends on the situation. Maybe if you feel like your child is like, maybe like, you know, your child is doing like bad things or they have gotten into, you can use it as a punishment or if they are doing bad things and they have gotten into trouble because of that. Like, let's say they were like um, talking, like, let's say with their boyfriend on their phone or girlfriend on their phones, then you can like take it away. Also, like, if you feel like they are spending like way too much time and they refuse like absolutely refuse like if they throw tantrums when you tell them to put it down they don't even make an effort to stay away from it then yes i do feel at times it's appropriate to take it away but you have to also give them like you know control liberty or control freedom like freedom but to a certain extent like in our house we usually like when she is like i think it's I don't know, yeah, 10, you're supposed to like give your phones, like you put them outside our parents' door so that you don't go to sleep with them and you sleep at 3, 
yeah I, I i see you i know i know you think so i know what you're doing uh anyways let's see one question number four dear abby i live with my uncle who is musical and he makes me play the violin i am good at it but i want to pursue dancing what should i do i feel like you should follow your heart or you should do what you want to do if you want to play i'm not to play the violin if you want to dance then you should dance and it's like a whole controversy like if you're really good at singing like amazing but you really really like let's say poetry you might not be good at it but you you're really passionate about it and way more than you are in music you will i'm going to show you you will make more money with music but your passion you won't be happy with what you choose you'll keep regretting your decision to go in the music path when your real passion is in poetry so you should choose what you really want in this situation i think you should explain to your uncle that you you like to pursue dancing maybe you can keep playing the violin but you also dance in your like your free time you dance you like you practice i love dancing too i'm not going to dance but i love dancing too actually i was in the dvbs for 2021 for online you know <laughs> yeah girl was there um you can just search dvbs 2021 it's really good and you will see me there occasionally but uh, let us move on to question number five uh, <laughs> hey abby i often think of starting a cooking show but i'm not very skilled should i go ahead absolutely you should go ahead because in fact like failures are like what like make things even like better because let's say you're cooking like a cake and it like if it it turns out well then that's good but even if it like fails then like that's even like it's kind of funny and that we like making like more views or people who be, or people who would be like you know what this is so me like this happens all the time to me and i think that you should like absolutely you should practice your in your free time cooking try new recipes but go for it as long as you don't burn the house down or burn anything then i think that you should totally go for it but you should totally go for it it also depends on like your age like if you're like young then make sure you have an adult maybe 12 years like things like cutting if you're that young or the oven or starting the like jiko or gas but if you if you can handle it by yourself then you do you and you do it so um that was it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please hit the subscribe button and the like button you can also watch my other ask abby videos and maybe my even motivation monday videos or amazing animals with amazing abilities i'll see you guys on the next one i'll just be here eating my grapes bye